Hello friends, in this video let us discuss previous year electronic science paper which was conducted by UGC NET in the year June 2019. Paper consisted of 100 questions. In this video we are going to discuss from question number 1 to question number 25. First time visitors, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Craving Gyan. Moving on to question number 1, what they have given is some analog devices are listed below. Transistors in common emitter configuration, common base configuration, common collector configuration and they have given operational amplifier mu 741 you have to arrange in current gain of these devices in descending order we know that if i am talking about op amp the current into the operational amplifier is approximately equals to zero but practically the current will be in the order of micro amperes but if i am talking about the output current output current is a finite value so approximately you will be getting a current gain in terms of 10 power 6 if I am talking about common emitter configuration, nothing but emitter terminal is common for both input and output. The current gain is represented by the factor that is beta. Beta is given by IC divided by IB. Nothing but beta is defined as the ratio of collector current to base current. In the case of common base configuration, the current gain parameter is alpha. Alpha is given by IC divided by IE. What do you mean by IC? It is collector current. What do you mean by IE means it is emitter current. If I am talking about common collector configuration, it is gamma. Gamma equals to IE divided by IB. Now, if I want to arrange in descending order, the first one will be operational amplifier followed by the next parameter will be gamma. Next parameter will be beta. Next one will be alpha. We know that alpha will be always less than 1 because always emitter current is more when compared to collector current also we know that emitter current is the sum of base current and collector current so you will be getting alpha less than 1 beta equals to ic divided by ib so the practical value of beta lies between 20 to 200 if i am talking about gamma gamma equals to 1 plus beta always it is greater than beta so option 4 is going to follow Second question, match the following, Hayes bridge, Hayes bridge means it is high quality coil, Maxwell's bridge, it is medium quality coil. If I am talking about shearing bridge, it is used for capacitance measurement, vein bridge, it is for frequency. So what is the frequency in the case of vein bridge is, it is 1 divided by 2 pi into root of R1, R2 into C1, C2. So, the corresponding option that is going to follow is option number 4 is correct. Moving on to the third question, what they have given is in a satellite communication, uplink and downlink frequencies are kept different. Why we are going to keep different means in order to avoid interference. The uplink frequency is chosen to be lower than the downlink frequency they have given. This statement is wrong. The uplink frequency is chosen in such a way that it is more when compared to downlink frequency because if I am making use of downlink frequency greater than uplink frequency, nothing but satellite has to produce more frequency, practically not possible and moreover power in satellites is generated via solar cell and it is a power limited communication, nothing but satellite communication is a power limited communication. So option 3 is going to follow, nothing but assertion is correct but reason is false. Fourth question what they have given is. In forward blocking region of SCR, which of the following statements are correct? So, in the case of SCR, we will be having P, N, P, N junctions. Nothing but, we will be having three junctions. Let me call it as J1, J2, J3. Across this, you are going to connect anode and here you are going to connect cathode. In order to reduce the forward blocking voltage, we are going to provide gate pulses over here. Nothing but, gate current we are going to feed. So, at this time, what will happen is, J1 and J3 will be forward biased, J2 will be in forward blocking mode, nothing but it is in reverse bias. So, in order to reduce this forward blocking voltage, which is of the order of hundreds of volts, we are going to make use of gate pulse in order to reduce that forward blocking voltage. So, the corresponding option that is going to follow is option 2. Nothing but outer junctions J1 and J3 are in forward biased while J2 is in reverse biased or in forward blocking mode. Moving on to fifth question, what they are given is which is invalid 8051 microcontroller instruction. The first instruction what they are given is move X at the rate of dptr, a. 
nothing but if you are performing any external interfacing at that time all the operation should be done via accumulator register that is a register as well as dptr so this statement is a valid statement but we need to hunt for an invalid statement ra a is also a valid statement move dptr comma immediate value you can't move an immediate data to dptr so it is an invalid statement or invalid instruction so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option 3 is going to follow sixth question following statements are given for transfer function the definition of transfer function what they are telling is it is a ratio of laplace transform of output to laplace transform of input by considering initial conditions as zero this statement is true but statement b what they are telling is irrespective of initial condition and statement 3 what they are telling is error signal is difference of reference signal and feedback signal even this statement is also correct so this is your reference signal and this is your feedback signal you are going to take a difference of these two things and that will be your error signal so error signal i can write it as e of t or you can write it as e of s also so this statement is also correct in signal flow graph the input is divided they are telling so it is a wrong statement so statement a and c is correct nothing but option one is going to follow moving on to seventh question what they have given is match the following on the list one they have given lvdt dielectric gauge pirani gauge piezoelectric on the list they are talking about what it is going to measure gas flow displacement liquid level and acceleration so lvdt is going to measure displacement nothing but linear variable displacement transducer if i am talking about dielectric gauge it is going to measure liquid level if i am talking about pirani gauge it is for gas flow measurement and piezoelectric is for acceleration so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option one is correct moving on to eighth question on the list one they are talking about bordered code nothing but they are talking about coding schemes bordered code arming code error detection code forward error correcting code we know that bordered code it will not be having any error detection at all nothing but bordered code should be mapped to second so if i am talking about bordered code it is used in telegraphy techniques and if i am talking about arming code arming code will be used to permit or to detect two errors or correct only one error if i am talking about error detection code error detection code uses an extra parity bit at the end of each word to detect errors in the received bit if i am talking about forward error correcting code it is permits the correction of errors by receiving without retransmission so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option 1 is correct Going on to ninth question, for a two-port network, they have given A equals to x1, B equals to x2, C equals to 1 divided by x2. For the network to be reciprocal, what is the value of D they are asking? We know that in the case of ABCD parameter, the condition for reciprocal is AD minus BC, which is equals to 1. What is the value of A? It is x1. What is the value of D? We have to find, which is equals to 1 plus B times of C, which is equals to 1 plus what is B? which is x2 what is c it is 1 divided by x2 so you will be getting 2 divided by x1 which is the value of d nothing but option 3 is going to follow 10th question they are asking with respect to programmable logic arrays first statement what they are given is it is easier to manufacture and program than a prom and a pal it is a false statement what the statement 2 they are telling is it combines the characteristics of a prom and pal by providing both a programmable and array and programmable or array this statement is true in the case of pla both and gates and or gates have fusible link at the inputs even this statement is also correct so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option 4 is correct in the case of pal you are going to program and gates in the case of PROM, you are going to program OR gates. In the case of PLA, you are going to program both AND gates as well as OR gates. So the difference between PAL, PROM and PLA, you should remember. Which of the following statements is equivalent to the Boolean expression Y equals to AB? 
plus BC plus CA. So let me take double complement. So on taking com double complement, what I will be getting is I will not be getting any change in the expression. So with respect to D Morgan's law, we know that A plus B plus C the whole bar which is equals to A bar into B bar into C bar. Nothing but A B the whole bar dot B C the bar dot C A the complement the whole complement. How can I split A B the whole bar? I can split it as A bar plus B bar into B bar plus C bar into C bar plus A bar the whole complement. So this is similar to option 2. Nothing but the corresponding option that is going to follow is option 2 is correct. Moving on to the 12th question what they have given is again match the following CMOS inverter design we are very much familiar it is going to make use of NMOS transistors as well as PMOS transistor. If I am talking about depletion load MOS inverter nothing but entire pull up network you are going to replace by depletion mode NMOS transistor. If I am talking about a pass transistor, pass transistors means it is this one. In the case of transmission gate it is going to make use of PMOS circuit as well as NMOS transistors in order to pass the logic that is strong logic 1 as well as strong logic 0. So the corresponding option that is going to follow is option 1 is correct. 13th question 8086 microprocessor is a true 16 bit microprocessor this statement is correct if I am talking about microprocessor 8085 it is an 8 bit processor if I am talking about microcontroller 8051 it is an 8 bit microcontroller what the reason they are specifying is it consists of two main sections the first one is bus interface unit also called it as BIU and execution unit that is EU this statement is also correct but reason is not giving the proper explanation for assertion so i need to opt for option 2 i need to opt for option 2 14th question the figure of merit of a logic family is given by the product of it is given as propagation delay time multiplied by power dissipation nothing but option 2 is going to follow 15th question the field effect transistor nothing but mosfets as very high input impedance correct and it will be having low electrical noise nothing but that is option 1 is correct 16th question dv by dt protection is provided to the thyristor circuit by using it is snubber circuit we know that we are having three types of protection one is snubber circuit protection and the second one is dv by dt protection and the third one is dv by dt protection so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option d is correct moving on to 17th question Nodal method of circuit analysis is based on it is based on Kirchhoff's current law and Ohm's law nothing but statement D is correct rest of the statements are wrong so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option 4 is correct. 18th question in the case of TE10 the mode of propagation in a rectangular waveguide filled with air the broader dimension is 2 cm they are asking us what is the cutoff frequency we know that the cutoff frequency is given by C divided by 2A because B is 0 in this case which is equals to they have expressed the dimension in terms of centimeter. So I have to express the speed of light in centimeter also that is 3 into 10 power 10 divided by 2 into 2 which is equals to 0.75 into 10 power 10 nothing but 7.5 gigahertz that is option 1 is correct. 19th question deal and grow model is applicable in oxidation it is used in thermal oxidation of silicon nothing but option 3 is going to follow 20th question the platinum rtd nothing but resistor temperature dependent as a resistance of 100 ohm at 100 degree centigrade so it is 100 ohm at 100 degree centigrade if the temperature coefficient that is alpha which is equals to 0.004 per degree centigrade what would be the change in resistance if temperature raises to 50 degree centigrade they are telling for a further increase of 50 degree centigrade what is the value of the resistance they are asking we know that rt equals to initial value of resistance that is r naught into 1 plus alpha times of delta t nothing but change in temperature which is equals to 100 into 1 plus alpha value is 0.004 into 
change in temperature means it is from 100 to 150 the change in temperature is 50 so if i'm solving i'll be getting 120 ohms from 100 to 120 ohms what is the change in value it is 20 ohms so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option 3 is correct 21st question in which of the following configurations miller effect capacitance is not contributing concern for high frequency application nothing but what they are asking is miller effect will not be in which and all transistor configuration so common base configuration and emitter follower nothing but common collector configuration will not suffer from miller effect but if i am talking about common emitter configuration it is going to suffer from miller effect so the suitable option that is going to follow is option d is correct now the second question which one of the following components are used for bias configuration in transistor circuits we know that we are going to make use of transistors and thermistors also we are going to make use of rectifier diodes nothing but the corresponding option that is going to follow is option c is correct 23rd question a transmission gate is a bi-directional switch yes transmission gate consists of n mos transistors as well as p mos transistors a transmission gate consists of two n channel enhancement mode transistors they are telling it is a wrong statement a transmission gate makes use of p mos transistors as well as n mos transistors which is connected in parallel so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option number three is correct nothing but assertion is true but reason is false 24th question for an rc phase shift oscillator the following statements are cited what's the first statement they are telling is amplifier gain is negative yes in the case of rc phase shift oscillator you are going to make use of common emitter configuration followed by the feedback will be rc network the feedback path will be rc network so in the case of common emitter configuration it is going to provide a phase shift of 180 degree in order to overcome the phase shift of 180 degree we are going to introduce a further phase shift of 180 degree so that total phase shift is 360 degree or 0 degree we know that in the case of oscillated design we are in need of positive feedback amplifier gain is negative that negative indicates 180 degree phase shift so in order to overcome that 180 degree phase shift we are going to make use of rc network the phase shift produced by a feedback circuit is they are telling it is 0 degree or 360 degree this statement is wrong it is actually 180 degree so if they are asking the total phase shift around the loop equals to 0 degree or 360 degree at that time you would have opted b option as correct but they are telling positive phase shift by feedback circuit is either 0 degree or 360 degree this statement is false what the statement c they are telling is amplifier gain is positive even this statement is also false so in this one statement a and d is correct nothing but none of the option is getting followed so this question is a grace question 25th question match the following improved noise immunity or increased complexity it is cmos nothing but in the case of cmos transistors there will be a noise immunity nothing but noise resistance will be there and it will be an increased complexity because we are going to make use of p mos transistors also we are going to make use of n mos transistors fastest among the logic is ecl nothing but emitter coupled logic and power dissipation also will be more in the case of ecl logic only most popular logic family or moderate package density is ttl transistor transistor logic simplest to fabricate or susceptible to static charge dosage is MOS. So the corresponding option that is going to follow is option 3 is correct. In this video I have discussed 25 questions. Uh, remaining questions I will be talking in next part of my video. If you have followed up in the lecture please give it a big thumbs up. Also share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Creaming Gyan. All the best for your exams. Thank you.